Hi guys! So let's talk about the pros and cons of buying a pre-loved or a vintage handbag. Here I have bags that I purchased either pre-loved or vintage or both. First of all, what's the difference between a pre-loved or a vintage handbag? The main difference is in the age of the bag. Vintage bags are usually around 10 years or older for it to be considered vintage. And if you really want to get technical, the bag has to be at least 20 years old for it to be considered vintage. A pre-loved bag, on the other hand, can be a vintage bag, but it can also be a brand new bag. In this video, I'll just lump them all together into one category. So if you're on the fence whether to buy a brand new or a pre-loved handbag, this video can help you decide. Let's start with the pros first. The first pro is savings. You can save a considerable amount of money buying pre-loved. With the exception of it bags, really trendy bags, very popular bags, limited edition bags, generally speaking, you can save a good deal of money buying pre-loved. The timing of when you're purchasing the pre-loved or vintage bag can greatly affect the price of the bag. Try to purchase a bag that is not at its peak in popularity and you can save a lot more. Avoid buying highly sought after bags or wait until the hype has died down and you can save more. I also heard somewhere that you want to save at least 20% off of retail for it to be considered worth the purchase. But it's really up to you on how much you're willing to spend on the bag that you want to buy and how much you're, you want to save. Those are just general guidelines. The next pro is you don't have to baby the bag. You don't have to worry about getting the bag dirty or damaging the bag if it has already been used and not in perfect condition versus buying something brand new that you spent a lot of money on. Take this Louis Vuitton bag for instance. This is a Louis Vuitton, monogram Louis Vuitton bag and it comes with this fascetta letter all around and a lot of people are afraid of this fascetta letter because it stains really easily especially with water stains or oil or ink marks and it's pretty hard to um, get it off once you get it stained. But if you buy it pre-loved like, like I did, it already came patinaed or has this honey color all around. So it's already kind of been pre-treated for you, so to speak. So in that sense, you don't have to worry about staining the bag or I don't worry about staining the bag that much or even I take it out when it's raining. I don't freak out that I'm going to get water stains all over it because it's not brand spanking new. The third pro is a vintage bag has character and come with its own history. Some people prefer buying vintage for this very reason. They feel the item is more unique and provides a sense of mystery and uniqueness and character to it. Some people like to wonder where the bag came from, the history behind it, its previous owner. It's, it's almost romantic to think about those things. I guess it holds the same appeal as antiquing or going out looking for antique furniture or jewelry, art pieces, or paintings. It's the same kind of concept or idea. The fourth pro is, and this is open for debate, is vintage bags have better quality. Not everyone agrees with this, but a lot of people believe that the quality of bags is not what they used to be compared to 10 or so years ago. That's why some people only buy vintage bags instead of brand new, especially from brands like Louis Vuitton and even Chanel and possibly other fashion houses as well. Some people believe that the craftsmanship is a lot better 10 or so years ago and the bags are not as mass produced as they are now. I hear people complaining about quality issues of newly purchased bags and having to return the item multiple times because of quality issues. So some people swear by the quality of older bags, the craftsmanship and the attention to details are superior compared to the newer bags found in the market today. Also, companies are of course profit driven and taking inflation into consideration, materials and labor costs are going to be higher and so companies have to mark up the prices of these bags for more profit so consumers are left feeling that the quality of these bags are not up to par with how much they are charging for them. The fifth pro for buying a pre-loved or vintage handbag is for ecological and also moral reasons. 
Buying something pre-loved or vintage can make you feel like you're reducing your carbon footprint by opting for a used bag instead of a brand new bag. You're potentially taking a bag that would have otherwise been thrown out or ended up in the landfill and reusing it. And in this age of consumerism or being made to feel like we need to buy more stuff, and we see this on YouTube a lot, you know, luxury hauls or buying the next it bag, it produces this more and more attitude. Whereas if you're looking into purchasing a used bag, you can feel like you're doing your share for the environment by taking something that would have otherwise ended up in the landfill and reusing it. And if you're saving money in the process, why not? And in our culture of instant gratification and waste, it doesn't hurt to try to reduce waste instead of adding to it. So that's another way of looking at buying something pre-loved or vintage. Those are the pros. What about the cons? The first con is, and I think this is what holds most people back from buying pre-loved or vintage, is that you have to worry about authenticity. This is most people's fear when buying something pre-loved or vintage. We have to worry about the authenticity of the item. You don't want to be duped into buying a fake bag or tricked into buying something that they claim to be but isn't. There's too many fakes out there, especially for certain brands like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Prada, Gucci, you name it. They'll have a replica of it somewhere and sometimes it can really be hard to tell the difference between an authentic or the real thing. Especially for a vintage bag, it can be even harder to tell because maybe the date codes from 20 years ago were all different or sometimes they don't even have date codes or serial numbers or the numbers could be scratched off or worn off, things like that. So it takes extra work and research to buy pre-loved or vintage and some people just do not want to go through all that trouble and I don't blame them. Some precautions you can take is checking the return policy and making sure you can return an item. You can check for shipping costs for returning an item. You can even pre-authenticate a bag. You can ask for more detailed pictures of the item and send those pictures to authenticators online. You can definitely do those things for a small fee. For your peace of mind, I think it's worth it. The second con is the bag is not going to be in perfect condition. Depending on the age of the bag you are purchasing and the condition of the bag it's in, the wear and tear would be different. When you purchase something pre-loved or vintage, they would often have a ranking and a description of the bag and they can go from excellent to poor. Most often it would be in used condition, it won't be perfect, there would be some wear and tear, and that's just expected from buying a used bag, especially a vintage bag that's over 10 years old. It's just not going to be in pristine condition, the way you would expect a brand new bag from the store. And sometimes they won't come with the original dust bag, receipt, or box, or authenticity card. The third con is the bag can come with a smell. Yes, smell or scent. If you're the type of person who gets grossed out easily or you're sensitive to smells, you want to keep this in mind. In the description of the item, sometimes they'll describe the smell and they'll say things like musty odor or storage smell or cosmetic scent, perfume scent, or chemical smell. Sometimes you'll find those in the description, but sometimes they won't say anything at all about how an item smells. So be prepared because you don't know what you're going to get yourself into when you open or unzip that bag. You can get a whiff of something. And if you're lucky, it can be pleasant but sometimes it can be unpleasant. And if you're the type of person who can't stand things that have a funny smell or a weird odor, then buying something pre-loved or vintage may not be for you. Or at the very least, you can ask the seller whether or not the bag has a smell that you need to be aware of. The fourth con is the bag's history. Now this can be a pro for some people, but this can be a con for others. Just like the smell that we talked about, there are people that are weirded out by something that's been pre-owned or something that you don't know where it's been. A good example of that is my very own sister. She would never purchase anything pre-owned or pre-loved. As she mentioned to me before, the item might come haunted. What she meant was that the previous owner may be diseased or had passed away and I guess their spirit can linger on and maybe haunt you in some way. 
And I'm sorry if you've never thought of this before, but now that I mention it, it's starting to bother you. It's kind of like the same thing if you're superstitious and you believe that an object carries with it the spirit of its previous owner or their luck or bad luck can be transferred onto you. It may sound silly or funny to others, but some people truly believe this. And if you're one of those people, then buying pre-love may not be worth the burden of having to wonder where this bag came from and would it be bringing you bad luck or would it haunt you in some way. So there you go guys, those are my pros and cons for buying something pre-loved or vintage. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful in helping you decide whether to purchase a used or vintage bag. Have a fabulous day wherever you are. Bye!